What is going on everybody? Jumbo Thick here, back with more Total War Warhammer 2. This is of course our Clan Eshin Deathmaster Snicks campaign. We are picking it up quite a few turns since I last left you guys. <laughs> um, we have been making significant headway with the dwarves, but the Empire decided to join the fray and that has set us back uh, a few turns as they have vast resources <laughs> and they're sending just stack after stack after stacks of armies against me and so in fact Teak is actually um, heading off one of their armies that actually attacked us down south as we've been securing much of the Tomb King land and pretty soon we are going to be the rulers of the Southlands so Unfortunately, we're going to have to fight this ambush because otherwise we will probably lose due to the fact that he has steam tanks and a shitload of demigriff knights. And we don't have a lot of backup for them. We've got halberds and I guess we'll use the, um, we're just going to have to use the spears and then the slainers to just focus them down and then hope that the uh, sensor bearers can just carve through everything else. And that's pretty much all we can do. So I guess I can set up the mortars um, to try to hit the great swords, and then the abominations. Uh, see, there's no good targets for the abominations because, well, they can actually take on these regular demigriff knights. The halberds, though, would tear them to pieces. So let's see how it goes. You will fight. You. Go ahead and put you guys back here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, that's not good. Captain's on a uh, <laughs> on a Pegasus. Shit. Okay. We're gonna bring the mortar way the hell back here and just have it unload into them. Good. We want to get in on the. Uh, the lector as soon as we can. I'm gonna do one of these numbers. Gonna get extremely hot, difficult, <laughs> but we are going to make it work. Okay, right off the bat, we're gonna have to pause because we're gonna have to immediately start charging in to get these guys taken care of. Gonna do one of those numbers right there. Gracier. Um, I'm not sure what we're, what we're gonna do with you yet. Same thing. Okay, we need to switch targets. Right, where is my... Alright, he's attacking him, that's fine. Where is my... there you are.
Get over there. And while you... swords. Passage Boys, I really sword. need you guys to come through for me. going pretty good. It is relative. That's fine. We routed their um, all their, their range stuff there, which is good, but we still have those damn demigriffs everywhere. I think we got rid of the steam tank. That's, that's a big win for us. Is already breaking? Oh, dude. Surely not. They are. They're breaking. Damn. I thought they would fight a lot longer than that. To be honest with you. We did, we did uh, almost lose a couple units, but on a whole, not so bad, all things considered. Let's see if you guys can grab that Luminarch. Damn, decimated. Alright, the Arch Selector's dead. If we can snag that uh, Luminarch on top of that, that would be a big win for us. Alright, it caught up with it. The hell pit on it. Slow it down. <laughs> oh yeah. See you boys tear that thing to pieces. Oh yeah. Come on, come on. Damn it. Oh, they got it. Thank God. Tore them up. Like, oof. It's not a lot, but we'll take it. By Sigma, no. Black 
All right, that takes care of some of the threat that we've been having down here. So, let's go over events here. Ognag got beat down because what's happening here is they are pushing <laughs> this way. If you can't see, I am getting lots and lots of elite Empire armies pushing in to my holding. So I lost all of Zufbar. I lost it. It's, uh, it's no longer mine. It was, and now it isn't. However, I've taken this on the other side. So, pluses, some minuses. I'm just going to pop that in. Why not? Um, so, we have Ognog here, who's almost done recruiting, which is good, because we don't have a lot of income coming in up until we ta retake some more of these uh, provinces. Or just expand even further. Uh, let's see here. Galvaraz. Yeah, we burned down Xandri because we're also at war with Bretonia. Because why wouldn't they join in on the war against me? When they're all sitting right here. So I need to deal some fatal blows to the Toon Kings here. Which means that Numus is pretty high on my shit list. Um, as well as uh, the Springs of the Eternal Life that they retook from me. Which is a little frustrating. But I just don't... I only have so many armies. That's the problem. Warlock, master of so take care of this. We're sitting here. Katar is still standing strong. I want Numus. But in order to get it, it's going to take us a little bit of finagling. Alright, so then we also have Queek down here. He, we just took Kemri with Queek. Which is, oh, so good. So what we're going to do with Queek is we're actually going to pop out here. We're going to go into an ambush stance. I got a feeling old King Itabom is going to run right into this ambush. Go ahead and assault his units anyway, just for good measure. That'll be nice. Um, Tich, we've got a lot of assassins down here, so we might as well do what's what. Let's go send you it this way, because I think we have more than enough assassins down south. We've taken most of the, uh, the Badlands, like, they're pretty much ours. The only piece that we're missing is this little Deaf Gorge, and it's been eluding me for quite some time. As soon as uh, Morlock, the infectious here, gets uh, a hold of his army, we will begin um, really starting to power through and get some more stuff done. So, meanwhile, so Infectic just had quite the uh, the fight. Head take what we dealt with. Rotich, um, Rotich, you are missing an assassin. Damn it. I forgot about that. So we move here. Go so into an ambush. And hopefully they will run right into it. Hopefully. Warlord just dealt with that. Um, the Deathmaster. Deathmaster needs to be making me some money. We need to be hitting um, key settlements. Probably, uh, we could probably take Akendorf, but I want to secure uh, the Silver Road as well. So I want to get rid of these goblins, so that way there's just nothing over here that can mess with me anymore. Um, mm, I really can't spare the expense, though. There's no army there. Except for Belagar decided he was going to pop in. Awfully nice of him. Some minor settlement. We could probably sack that and get some get some loot off of it. But then we're also looking at this as well. Hmm. I really want to hit Karak um, Angzar here. Angaz Angzar, I think. I guess I say it. Angzar. Ready yet? March does. 
but I don't want to siege them. I want him to leave. Then we'll murder him on the side. That's what I really want. So we'll see what happens there. Warlock, a couple turns on you. Um, oh yeah, I forgot I had a... Uh... Boom. We were going to expand the Under Empire down here. I forgot about this. Already discovered? Damn it, man. Well, that sucks. In that case, let's move elsewhere. Assassinating people. Do what you can. I mean, that's all I can hope for. Okay. So this brings us back to boom. Get that public order. Why not? Contract approved. Oh, let's get ice. You're here. Got it. Can I get 24 turns? Hey, I forgot that I had to use that. Okay. Hmm. It's fine. It's fine. Um, this is Infectique. We've got him pretty well kitted out at this point. Um, we could probably really boost up his troops. That will be probably next on our little hit list here. Uh, he could use missile resistance, but he's been we haven't been getting him in combat. So let's go ahead and Death Runners, Plague Monks, um, Storm Vermin. What about? Hmm. What about uh, sensor bearers? Do they count as just plague monk units? I guess they might. Yeah, they must. So we'll do this then. Respected and feared. So really boosting up his units. Plague Priest has been doing very well for himself. He doesn't get into melee too often. Could get give him that opportunist. Yeah, why not? That way we just run him into people and then pull him out. Uh so engineer down south. Broiler. Oh yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and start getting you quartermaster. Really start cheapening up my units there. Okay, I've got an assassin, bloody blade. Another assassin. Uh, hmm. This must be in an army. Yeah. You know what? I mean, we can afford to give him some armor, and damn. Uh, let's give him that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Too bad he doesn't have a shield. Give him a physical resist. Oh, that's actually really good, but... Potion of strength for him. There we go. Okay, another engineer. He's gonna regret that. He's gonna regret not uh, not attacking me when he had the chance. Ooh! I will retreat from that. Yeah, Belgar's too much of a coward to come at us. Damn it! Smart, I guess I should say. I've destroyed him too many times at this point. Okay, 
Okay. A lot of stuff happening. Got so many people that got assassinated. Okay. Ognag is completely recovered now. So, do we move on Karak? Karak could be on list. Or do we, do we move up and start hitting these? Leave Nashrak's lair a little exposed, but still very well protected. Strike like snake. Meanwhile, I could hit Zufbar. Do I don't have any. I don't get anybody down here? Absolutely not. I can hit Zufbar and burn it down, even. Slash open. Apart. Like, easily. Smash, crash, ye nothing. They I will shouldn't. not obey. Yeah, they can't reach us in the mountains. We'll just whoop, me. escape next turn. That's how we'll start dealing with the uh, empire up here in the mountains. They won't stand a chance. Okay. We'll move at least here. I'm going to try this to see if anybody moves in from up north. Infectique is still a little messed up after that last fight, but he's doing all right. And he's got a... He does have, he does have a pretty good army. Minus those regular rats that he's working with. We really need to deal with the Tomb Kings. Oh, God bless. Again? Do you see this? It's never ending. <laughs> they, all, they have infinite resources. Oh. Okay. We'll start chasing after him, or at least we'll hit Death Gorge by the time he does anything. We're going to end up losing another settlement somewhere. Hopefully Morlock's ready to move, and we can start moving him this way. Uh, Trying to head them off somewhere. Meanwhile, the head taker here. make them slower. Kimri still has a, one more turn before it's got walls, which is why they are desperately rushing it. So let's go ahead and try to lure them in, see if they come. The Queek has been... He has been a moneymaker for me. Alright. I, have? I don't have any agents right here. Damn it. So I need to pick up Spring of Eternal Life and Numas. If I can start really um, eliminating how much the land the Tomb Kings have, I can start really oh, focusing down their armies. Okay. This should be easy. Uh, <laughs> I really don't even want to fight this. I might have to, though, to not lose any troops. But... <laughs> Even with Cetra, this should be nothing. So, let's save it just in case I have to actually fight this. I don't want to, but if it kills a bunch of my units, I will fight it. Okay, no, we're good. Um, All your riches are ours, ours. We're gonna go, boom, straight to level 3. Took Numus. We're gonna put in you. Get rid of you. All right, and Boiler's gonna have to defend that, which I have faith in. Okay, so who else does that leave me? The Deathmaster. I bring pain, death. 
Deathmaster, we are in a pickle. Let's move this way. Let's see if we can hit Akendorf. Burn it to the ground. Secret Slayer. Yeah. That's about all we can do. Okay. This is, oh, this is just an assassin. Many, many kills today. You assassinate. Oh, why didn't they do that? That's fine. They'll spawn right next to my army there, which is fine. I need to keep moving them, don't I? I really wish there was a way to teleport your agents <laughs> when they die. Come on. God bless. Really? This is pissing me off. Like I said, the Empire has infinite resources. <laughs> God. Oh, shit. I'm going to rebuild a whole army that I lost. God, this is frustrating. Done yet? Jeez. Shadow. So infuriating. I'll ignore that. Damn it, man. Do I have I mean I've got some stuff here? Who do I have for a lord? Time to do it, leaders. <sighs> Fortunately, I can't get him back for a couple turns, but he he will come back though. Let's just plop in one of these guys. Start getting them on, uh, get some stuff done. Master assassin. All right, at least we can get these. Oh, damn. About all he can get, though. Everything else is gonna have to be global. Luckily, those are only one turn to grab. Yeah, we'll start with that. Which means Ognag can stay here for now. I think we might be able to. Repel something at Grand Peak, hopefully. 
Okay, we really need to take all of this bullshit down here now because of what is happening up north. That way they can get a break. Master Engineer! Alright, let's go ahead and start just piling the norm. Machines and then sorcery! Alright. How did he get all the way over there? So I guess we'll start moving towards Katar. Because he should have to siege it. He should have to siege Katar. They've got walls over there, big walls at that. So I'm not too worried. We're gonna make a move on the Death Gorge. Meanwhile, Morlock here, I'm gonna have to move him up. Like, he's gonna have to start moving up this way. Holy shit. When the hell did they get these big ass armies over here? Death. Well, shit. Master Snake. Marching, marching. Okay. Yep, we are losing territory, but I think we'll be able to pull this off. I hope. Weak is doing fantastic down south. He is just decimating these Tomb Kings left and right, so I can't complain about that. Let me find what else is down there. We will eventually need to take the Black Pyramid, but for now, they are just sitting there and they're not aggressive, so leave it. Is what I say. Leave it be. Um, we could start moving Queek that way. Because... We should be able to handle this over here. Should. Kimri's going to have... Already has, has decent walls now. Decent. Not, not great walls. Decent walls. I don't know. We do need to retake Xandri. Damn it. Okay. How about. Let's start moving this way. Let's just start moving that way. Him. Deathmaster, everyone else should be good to go. Okay, you guys, I need to start just moving around. Just start coming somewhere. Blade. Kinda need you kinda where you're at. Call me me, death master. Sniffin, go ahead and we need to it's discover so what's going on around here. Where Charge lock. So you coming up here as well. Quick kill. Let's get Tice. Start moving. Start moving somewhere. Okay. Well, might as well get Kras to crack up because it's going to get targeted. It will. More quartermaster. All right. How about? Get you a doom rocket. Awesome. Um, survivalist. Extra powder. Boom. God, I can't believe I lost a whole army.
Okay. Do I even have walls? I don't. Well, I lost that. I lost character on. To a bunch of orcs. I'm just gonna burn it down. Damn it. God, the orcs are so hard to get a hold of, too. Oh, man. This empire is stressing me out, boys. I am getting stressed out. Okay. Nashrex Lair. This is why I like to put walls everywhere. Uh, we're probably gonna need. Yeah, we're probably gonna need to calm it down up here. They're not sending people this way. Still three turns. Let's go ahead and. We're gonna start moving this way, and we might actually do a little bit of raiding just to get some money. Meanwhile, they are moving back here towards Def Gorge because I don't think I can. Yeah, I can. I can do this. I might have to back it up, but it's better than nothing. I don't think they saw Borla here. Ooh, I, this should be a, a win. Like, just outright win for me. <sighs> Damn it, we're gonna have to fight this. Let's fight some Tomb Kings. So this is my kind of uh, Clan's Crier army, if you couldn't tell. Um... We want to focus down the, the king. Or do we want to try to focus down the sphinx and all that nastiness? Let's do the... Okay, let's put you back here. Let's have you guys start popping off at the king. You can take out the king. That should be pretty damn useful. Meanwhile... I want to say the Sphinx is anti-large. Yeah, it is. So we definitely don't want to get you guys in on that. We'll have you guys hit the uh, chariots. Well, you guys actually come in and hit those. But you're being screened. Rattling gun. By rattling guns. That are going to move in and then just tear that Sphinx and these Ushapti to pieces. Um, meanwhile, we're going to have some clan rats there, and we're going to have a bunch of plague monks. And also, we're going to do this right there. Um, oh, he's on a, uh, yeah, that's just to get him around. Our assassin, stay over here, he's going to have to get cut in. Get our avalanche mortars, um, raining death on someone. Same thing. Let's have our. We can have a warlock kind of here. Why not? Why the hell not? Okay, that should be just about everyone. We're actually going to be very defensive at first. What do they have? Uh, just skeletons. So yeah, we'll get we'll get through to the Scorpion Legion first. Forgot to focus down our Tomb King. They should be doing that.
Put you there. Okay. Boys, what are you doing? Okay, you can't hit him, so hit someone else. Why don't you guys bomb the shit out of them for me? That'd be helpful. Come on. Get them in there. I want them to get sandwiched in. Okay, that went off pretty well. The warp fire throwers are getting annihilated, however. Now, here we go. Here we go, finally. Get in there. Shit. Oh, I forgot about this. We're we doing cracks call this whole time. All right, our Tomb King is getting pretty tore up. However, we are on the verge of losing our what fire throwers. Please help them out. You know what? Let's go ahead and give them a little help. Right. We'll do it like this. We'll keep. Oh, thank God. He almost got my assassin, but we killed him before he could. And the rest of them are falling apart. And that's a wrap. Could have been much better managed, but we pulled it off. Killed some more Tomb Kings. It's going to take us a little bit to recover, but I mean, it's all much damage we just dealt out. I'm going to this there, recover. Okay, let's see. Queek. Can't afford Queen to get too far out. Okay, we got pools of despair here. Alright, Kimri's gonna be able to take care of itself, should. Whoever's there, the Death Master. Let's move you into the Iron Rock to defend it. These should be fine. I've got to deal with all of this. I have to deal with all of this. Let's get up, scramble. Shadows hide. 
Spark Far should be able to defend itself. I've got a level 5 walls plus a settlement, so it should stand out for quite some time. Unless they just dump, like, I don't know, 5 million troops on top of it like they've been doing. Which, I will say, is a very effective plan, but um, it is kind of bullshit. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I'm getting a little salty. I know, I know, I'm getting uh, just, a, just a tad. Just a little salt in the wound. Alright, um... I can't really get any of the stuff I need. Let's get you some of them. Okay, well, we're, we're trying to rebuild his army. It's gonna take forever. Not sure who this is, but we'll just keep piling on here. Uh, oh yeah, logistics instructor, Royaler. Oh, let's finish out your quartermaster. Thank you. Damn it. Come on. Oh, it's just so frustrating. There's nothing I can do. I just, I can't defend it. We're fine. We're fine. We're gonna figure this out somehow. <sighs> Alright. Ognag, they are running at you. No. And you've got a chance here to stick it to them. I will not. However, slight problem. Nashrak's lair isn't gonna have walls for two turns. Rombrandal is right there, and he is poised and ready to strike. I could take Thorgrim, but then uh, my back is exposed. So, the only other option is to move back here. Move like this. Hope the Grombrandal falls into this trap. And then take Thorgrim on the next turn. That's, that's all I can do. Can't quite make it. Get close. Maybe they will turn around and attack. Machines and sorcery. Maybe. Okay, Broiler's in a bad spot. The Deathmaster is... Oh, 
God bless. Now I've got more damn orcs to deal with. That's oh God, it's so damn frustrating. Chief Assassin, yes. Going, going, yes. I had taken. Stop sneak yes. Uh why the hell Take not? This. Make we We can use all of the help we can get. Magic's energy. So we can get back here to help to defend the crag or wherever the hell they end up. Oh man. Yep, this is gonna be interesting. Well, Unfortunately, guys, I have run out of time. <laughs> so you can see me struggle more and more and more. I've taken, you can see, I've done a lot of, of solidifying and I'm just I'm trying to get a bead on these damn Tomb Kings. And as soon as I can knock out this, I can really start pressing up north and securing the northern provinces because they need the most help. <laughs> I just keep getting set back by the uh, the Empire. The Empire has like 72. Like, let, let, let's see how many. Um, the dwarves I've gotten knocked back pretty pretty significantly. They're at 14 settlements. However, you we have got the Empire. 76 settlements for the Empire. 76 settlements. So, yeah, that's a lot to deal with. However, Cetra's down to nine now. I'm slowly but surely picking him apart. So, oof, man. Um, I Earth am going to have to take out uh, the Bowman of Orion eventually as well. And uh, they'll be next on my list after I take out all of Cetra and his undead legions. So as usual, guys, I've been Jumbo Thick. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. It was a rough one. Hopefully the next one is not as bad. Have a good day. <laughs>